Good morning and happy weekend, loyal viewers. I don't shy away from controversial issues. Today I'm going to discuss with you an alternative UFO reality. So first of all, I'm going to pose a question. And that is 99%, and sure there are a few others, but 99% of UAP sightings and the ones that are being investigated are only in the United States. Yes, you at the back, there are some in Peru and Australia and they have been seen all over the world, but stick with me, 99% and the ones that we're really talking about are seen in MOA, military operation areas, and above military facilities in the United States. They have been investigated by the military, the Pentagon, and there's a very deeply classified report that you all know about into what are UAPs, and there's a small declassified section that, that mere mortals like you and I have read. This all raises a very big question. The US is an important power, but they're not the center of the world. If these UAPs are of an alien origin, it's a global story. First, contact with a salient life force, extraterrestrial, isn't only American. Hmm. Well, that got me and others thinking. Physicist Eric Weinstein asks this amazingly smart question, and that is the physics of the UAPs. The Americans know some of the physical characteristics over 10,000 miles an hour, changing direction, appearing out of nowhere. And the list goes on, no doubt, but they're all very advanced and very interesting. The physics of UAPs is fascinating. And science needs to share this globally. But it's not being shared as science does globally. First contact with an alien civilization, exotic physics. But it's not. It's hidden away in an American, not NATO, American secret military classified document. Why? Now you're all gonna hate me. But there is one possibility. And I think it is just a possibility because we don't know what UAPs are. And please, Avi Loeb and the Galileo Project, get us decent data because we need to share it. We need to understand what these things are. And we don't want it just controlled by the US military in a classified sense. But just maybe what the US military doing is classically very clever. In my humble opinion, Roswell was a balloon. Most of the sightings over the Tanapar range were stealth fighters, classified. The Rendlesham UFO, oh, you're all gonna like what I'm about to say now, was right next door to RAF Woodford, which was a secret forward American nuclear weapons store with nuclear weapons that could be launched to an enemy without British permission. Britain didn't have the launch codes. Britain didn't control them. They were just a weapons store and it was kept from the British public. There's also forward nuclear stores in Italy, in Holland, in the uh, weapons store in near Faz Lane in Scotland. It's full of forward nuclear weapons. And the point of it is, if America gets taken out, it still has a retaliation strike. But I went into that just to explain that anything associated with Woodford which happens to be next to Rendlesham Forest, was deeply classified. 
So when the Americans based at Woodford, doing their secret mission, saw something odd, which they did, us mere mortals were told it was a UFO. Exactly the same as my story about the guy who heard strange radio transmissions coming from the Sandia Labs in Albuquerque, and he was invited in and told it was aliens to discredit him. So, this is my point, and I can hear you all switching off in droves if you do switch off the internet. <laughs> UAPs might not be alien. UAPs might be advanced physics. And that advanced physics needs to be shared. UAPs, UFOs, whatever you want to call them, might just, and it's only one possibility because there's lots of others, that might just be disinformation. But I say this, the universe is teeming with life, but life not as we know it. It would be awesome if we made first contact, as long as they didn't eat us, which is distinctly a possibility. But assuming that an alien life form is intelligent and not ultra dangerous, which it probably is, it's a global story. And UAPs flying over military operation areas in the United States is a military story. Could that possibly be one explanation of why all these sightings are classified? The truth is, I don't know, and I wish I did. Roll on the day when we get decent data, science data that can be shared globally. But as long as it isn't shared, I think it's highly suspicious that the American military are controlling the output of what they know about you. The truth is out there, but it's deeply classified. If you enjoy this type of video, give it a thumbs up. I really need to get this information out to the world. And you are the ambassadors.